1991 to 95. To be 17 again, to wear flannel shirts, baby doll dresses, and bodysuits, to squeeze into the photo booth with precious Kira and Jessica, to kiss Josh Fallen once and only once after giving him a ride in my geostorm, to play CDs, hip hop, alternative, cruising past the boys on the basketball court, writing notes of our top 10 crushes after world history and honors English, my first taste of jungle juice in 11th grade before prom, <laughs> wondering if Nick liked me, I got my first buzz, Blazers, a la 90210, our hair became more natural looking and not so teased. Corey, who was actually having sex, got pregnant and gave her baby up for adoption, while Kira and I drank cherry limes from Sonic and complained about Christine for liking all the guys we ever dreamed about. We watched old Friday the 13th movies, weekly episodes of My So-Called Life, Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream, I played Aaliyah's back and forth in between drives from Tularosa and Alamogordo. A whirlwind of faces I will never see again, never forget. I purchased Dookie by Green Day and the Cranberries when my senior year began. Posed for the picture outside Tiger Stadium. Personal pan pizzas in the commons area. Exit and enter the building. Four years stretched out forever. Become little pieces of a puzzle I try to fit together. As I take the, ch take the train to Brooklyn to get my hair cut, it is ten years later. Um, yeah. What is? Wrinkled tops and bottoms piled on the floor. Silky lavender shirts. Pa faded pl blue buffalo jeans. Shared sweaters, short baby tees with daisies on the front. I picked pigtails and my bright orange top. The gas station button up with Sam name tag embroidered over the chest. Across the border we drive from El Paso in Angie's white Toyota Corolla with black tinted windows. Stop at the checkpoint, green light, enter. If we walk over the bridge, we see babies, dirty brown bundles sitting on their mama's lap. Women and children beg for money, clutching white paper cups in the dark. 18, 19, and 20, this is how old we are. The years we have extra blonde highlighted hair, can wear it straight or curly. We arrive on the strip to men trying to sell us chicle, roses wrapped in plastic, Polaroids for a dollar each. At La Playa, it is still early and the dance floor is ours. Living in oblivion, tainted love, buckets of beer served to our table. Down the street is Coco Cabana and it is college night. My black plastic sketchers are sticky from the beer we spill. Five dollars for one styrofoam cup. Drink and drown all night long. Tequila slammers, vodka mixed with Sprite, kamikaze sex on the beach, sabotage. So what, so what, so what you want? Fight for your right, it's the beastie boys. Kissing guys we don't know in buckle boots. I almost slip on the stairs of this smoky club. Dac dancing back to back with my girls, strangers, frat guys from New Mexico State. <laughs> um, and then I'm putting it together a book of my mom and um, my mom's poetry and mine. And this is a favorite that I just found: mothering. Mothering is fearful, immobilizing, overpowering. I haven't always loved my mother. She didn't always love my grandmother. I fear my daughter will not always love her mother. My mother never really understood me. Her mother had a fear of growing old. Sometimes my mother didn't trust me. She demanded more than I could give. We were hiding people, covering emotions, buying honesty, desiring praise, and avoiding confrontation. We never shouted, I love you, out loud. The praise was never softly whispered. Still, now it goes unsaid. It is simple to squeeze a baby, quietly saying I love yous. A three-year-old cuddles, pampers, and runs to your arms. In fear, a mother watches a growing child. She can't hold times and stop its movement. How long can we, this mother and child, how long can we love? I want to say I love you for all the time to come. Will this child love me? I didn't always love my mother. And that's by Patricia Harmon. I love you, Mom. Yeah, thank you.